Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Splatoon 3. Now, I found something today that I didn't know about for some reason, which I probably should have known. And that is, if we go over here, we can interact with this little, um, zap fish, like, <laughs> plush zap fish, to relive memories. We can return to the crater from here. I don't know if this was added in, or if this has just been here the whole time and I didn't know about it. But yeah, we can actually go back to the crater and have a look at it. Which, um... Looks like there's more stuff here. I don't- I actually don't know what- what else there is here. Although the cap- captain is back to normal, so... Actually, it looks like I'm right back to where I was when we started, because I have... I have... Very little, um... What's it called? Power eggs. For some reason. But we can go through the previous levels that we did that we did ages ago. It's so weird being back here, but it's, it's a nice place. I really like this look. Like, this entire place, I love it. I'm sad that we don't have, like... Yeah. Even coming back here now, it doesn't feel quite the same. Long way down. One full, full step, we could fall down. Gonna make the jump there. Okay. But I guess this means we can also refight the boss here as well, probably. Just like that. Which is interesting. I mean, it was a really cool boss, so. This is a really good fight, not gonna lie. I mean, it's very simple because of how early in the game it is. But I just, it, it feels like a very good remix of the previous fights we've had with him, so. And the way you have to use your little buddy for this, it just makes so much sense. It's a really good first boss for this, for this story mode. Man, it was a really good opening to the story. It was like really good. Really, I miss I miss the story mode very much. So, but also, way back here is uh, a bear statue that we should recognize, which we can relive memories from. We can replay the game credits. But we can also return to the rocket battle. And this starts us off down at the base of the base. And yeah, I guess we can play the entire last part again if we wanted to. Which it's interesting that we can play this again because the ship, the, the rocket is orange in this version, but back in the future, it's blue, and I don't know why it's different like that. It's like there's something that it's ready to build up to, but has isn't a thing yet. I mean, there's also that one building at the the beginning of the, the, the story mode world, which seems like it's going to open up at some point. So maybe there's still something more to the story mode that they are yet have yet to add or something. I'm, I'm very interested to find out what that might be. Man, I still wish that they added the ability to use the small fry in multiplayer battles. I don't know how that would work exactly. But like, yeah, I don't know. I feel like it could be interesting if they added it, but... It'd be hard to implement. Man, this was so much harder the first time around. I had no idea what to do. 
I don't, don't know why, because it wasn't that hard to get through that. Perfect, almost. Just gonna need to ink the rest of that wall, probably. Maybe? Do I? Or don't I? I don't know. Oh, I do, because I need to put small fry onto this switch there. Well, I just said it was easy, and then I forgot how to play. Forgot everything that I learned. It's so weird having no weapon for the beginning of this. And even if... Like, that's a good challenge, considering. But it just gets it just gets harder as you go up, and it's really good. It's a very good last level. I love that it gives you your gear back like that. It's so cool. It's such a well-designed final level. And we have the back and forth with the story, and it's great. They really took the best of Splatoon for this. I also love how they use the specials in this bit. That's just a thing over here I didn't get probably the last time. Probably too busy just going forward, enjoying myself because there's so much good stuff. Oh, and the music as well. I had not paid enough attention to the music last time, I don't think. I forgot that we also have a special that we build up on our own as well. Just from painting the ground. It was so cool. Man, this is so cool. It's just so cool. I'm loving playing this a second time through. I'm glad that I found that you can do this again. Ooh, darkness. Cool. Right, I haven't played the story mode in a while. I forgot that we actually have like a targeting thing where if you hover over something, it highlights it. Man, that would be so useful and so overpowered in multiplayer. Nice. Got him. <laughs> I'm glad that I learned how to do that. I don't have that option in multiplayer, but if I was playing multiplayer, that would be very helpful to have. Because you have to just kind of throw it out where they're going to land. Um, just as the, um, the, the, the gauge is about to deplete, basically. Was we at the end? Or am I... Yeah, we're at the end. Okay, cool. I was just standing here for no reason. I love how we can go to basically anywhere we can see in this world. Like, we can see the end of the game the whole time. And we just go, go there, basically. Eventually. I really love this climbing section. <laughs> I like all of the climbing sections where we just have to go straight up, basically. The elevator is cool, but also... Going up is really cool. Everyone can agree with this. Going up is cool. We all learn from Ocar Ocarina of Time, right?
This is how it's done. Definitely. For some reason, I'm a lot more confident than I used to be going through this the first time. Don't know why. But nothing is as bad as it was. Oh, it's so satisfying. So satisfying. <laughs> And of course, there's the great zapfish. This section, though, is incredible. It's just a little bit annoying if you die, though. It's just a good power-up, in general. Just to have infinitely. Oh, it's so cool. Although that guy's gonna get me if I'm not careful. That was such a good section, especially if you're better at video games than you were a few months ago. Which I am not, so. <laughs> He's so spaced out. It's absolutely incredible that we start off by going through the entire level going up. And then we just keep going up. Up and up and up and up. So cool. Speaking of spacing out, it's so cool. It's just so cool. The music makes me feel weird because of that being the Salmon Run tune. Mr. Grizz, just as part of the story, makes me feel bad for the things I've done in Salmon Run. This section is actually kind of difficult if you're not being careful. Like, it's very easy to get too close to him and then get hit or not pay attention to everything that's happening around you and get hit by, accidentally touch something you're not supposed to. Get touched, touched by the ooze. There's a lot to keep in mind. So you need to be careful. Please, thank you. Oh boy. Rotation. This might have been a mistake. Yep. Of course, every time you touch the, the, the ooze, it's game over or something, I guess. We're gonna go back a little bit, so. Spotune is very good at final bosses. Somehow managed to get that on the first rotation. Please, 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 thank you. And of course the final lead up to Mr. Grizz. With all the power eggs right there.
And there we go. But that's just not even it. There's even more. It's just so so it just keeps going on and on and on. It's a long it's a long segment. But it just keeps going up and up and more extreme. Man, it feels so good. Actual chills. All the goosebumps. I need to look up this song so I can listen to it later. Just love the clash of the ginormous things in space. Return of the Mammalians. Or mam Mammalians. That one. I don't know, Mammalian sounds well, <laughs> slightly correct, kind of, I don't know. Guess I could go with both. It's probably worth switching to a different uh, sub-weapon during this part. Since we have those. Oh boy, don't get knocked off, please. There's so many enemies. Of course, there's a time limit to keep up with as well, so... Absolutely amazing. So ominous. That that um the picture of the the, the great zapfish on the the right <laughs> looks great by the way. I'm really looking forward to whenever they sh like give give us the next DLC for this. I'm sure it can only be good considering everything. I mean it has to be good because there's a <laughs> they have to there's a lot of keep to keep up with for them. But yeah, there we go. It still feels like there's something that I haven't done yet, but I don't know what. Or if it's just that that's how it is after the end, so. Just a slight bit of unfinished business with this world. I'm sure of it. But anyway. It also seems like this was going to open at some point, like, you go down into this. But no, it's just a- it's just a landing pad, so... Anyway... 
I think though that is probably it for now. There's not really anything else that I can think of to look at, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.